Hello, my name is John Luke. And my name is Michael. And today we're going to show you how to predict products. A note to keep in mind when it comes to single and double replacement is that neg a positively charged atoms and negatively, negatively charged atoms have to go together. Before we get started, here's what we need to know. The five types of reactions. The first one being synthesis. A, B, A plus B is equal to AB. Decomposition. AB is equal to A plus B, which is the opposite of synthesis. Single replacement. A plus BC is equal to AC plus B. Double replacement. AB plus CD is equal to AD plus CB. And combustion, which is the easiest, because the end product is always the same. CH4 plus O2 is equal to H2O plus CO2. Synthesis, and the reason we can tell this is synthesis is because we have two reactants on the reactant side. And uh, this is a positively charged element. This is a negatively charged element. Here we have our A, and this is the B, and we're trying to make an AB. So we're going to have to combine these. Keep in mind this is a 2 plus. So when we combine them, we get MgCl2. Now we have single replacement. And with single replacement, obviously you have one element by itself and two combined elements. And you're basically going to switch the positives, the positively charged um, elements. So here, this is a positive, positive, negative. Um, you have your A your B and your C and you're just gonna switch them so for a fact that potassium is higher than uh, sodium on the activity series we know for a fact that this reaction will definitely occur Can you see from there? now we have double replacement um, with double replacement you have AB plus CD equals AD plus CB and like the uh, single replacement, you have to, uh, you can only change the positives and positives and the negatives and negatives. So your product is going to be BASO4 2 plus MgCl2. The last um, reaction is combustion. And this is one of the easiest to remember because your product will always be H2O plus CO2. So you simply put H2O plus CO2. Hi, I'm Cassidy and here are the materials you need. A bottle, a piece of paper, baking soda, and vinegar. You're going to get the bottle. Unscrew the cap, get your vinegar, and pour some vinegar inside the water bottle. Okay, that's good. Then you take your paper and fold it this side. And then fold it again so that way you have two creases. Then you're gonna take your baking soda and you're gonna put a line a line of baking soda across. That should be good. And you're gonna fold it and fold it again and then fold it right here so it's secure. If it's too big for the bottle, then you're going to fold it one more time. Then you take your paper and you stuff it inside the water bottle. Okay. <laughs> then put the cap on the bottle and seal it. Now you just shake. <laughs> As you can see, 
after taking off the the bottle cap, the texture has changed. It has more of a comfy texture and it doesn't smell as much as vinegar as it used to. There's the clumpy texture. Bloopers. Need baking soda. Yeah. Nice little combo. I am Bruce Banner. Pretty soon I'll play. That's good. Thank you.